guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be looking at the new English thoroughbreds, the Generation 3, and they have finally been released. So a lot of people hated on them in the trailer, oh. but I think that they have turned out better than the trailer. So we're just gonna take a look at them. And it is night, so, like, or not night, but it's later, so I'm sorry about that it's dark, but, okay, we're now, so two of them are here at Marley's Farm, the white, it's like a pure white, and the black, so we're gonna just take a look at the white first, so they are definitely a lot like shinier and more detailed than in the trailer which is very nice because in the trailer their colors look very flat so i'm just gonna go into photo mode here so you can see better um so you can see like all the little details in the face i do wish that this horse had blue eyes like the uh original white english thoroughbred but it's fine. Um, so yeah, but he's very cute. And I like that it's more of a pale pink rather than like the bright pink Star Stable usually does. Um, the neck is definitely shaded very well. Um, yeah, they look a lot better than in the trailer. The tail is very nice. But we're gonna have to. The the mane's nice, but um, we need to talk about something here. What is a this? This this is this is just not. This isn't doing it for me. This is the ugliest warlock I've ever seen. So I will, if I do get one of these horses, I will definitely be changing the mane style because this is not pretty. Oh, inside the ears are so detailed. Look like you can see a little fur. Okay, so that's the white. And the white has absolutely no markings of any kind. Just a pure, true white. Then we have the black. Oh. Um. Well. This is what happens when it shakes its head. So, let's, um. That again. Okay. Oh, my panda bray likes this one. I really like the black. He looks kind of startled. He's like looking at a bug. He's like, what is that? Um, but yeah, the ears are very cute. And the black is very detailed for a black. Usually Star Stable doesn't do much with blacks, but it's still very detailed. I think they look really good. And I love these markings on the feet. They're very detailed as well. Like they have a little white out of place and stuff, which I think is very cute. And I really like the snip. And I like that Star Stable kept the white and like the different markings to a minimum. I think it looks really good on this horse. I I really like the eyes. I know a lot of people don't. I think this horse would look good with maybe darker brown i th i think it would have been really cool to see green eyes on this horse but you can't have everything but i think it's cool that it has like the little light brown goldish eyes uh but yeah they are very cute i really like them they're a lot better than the trailer so that's good so let's go and check out the one at fort penta okay, so we are here Star Staple says that this color is a dark brown, but I think it's just a dark bay. Um, so let's take a look at it. I think this one's very cute. Definitely not my favorite. Like, I don't personally really like this, how it looks on this horse, but like the flank. But I do, I do like the horse in general. Um, like the eyes are so pretty. But like all the English thoroughbreds have 
basically the same color guys once again i don't like the four lock i don't think that's that very pretty i do like the markings though i kind of wish there was like a star or something on the face i think that would look really cute um but yeah overall i like this horse i think it's cute i really like the markings i like that there's random white spots past the initial markings on the legs i just think this horse is very cute yeah there's not that much to talk about but we're gonna so this horse is 850 star coins and you only have to be level one for all of them so anyone can get them so i'm gonna read through this but go ahead and just skip to the time grant to the timestamp on the screen now if you don't want to hear it so from the tradition steep island of great britain comes a competitive spirit compet competitive spirited breed with all the formality and pride you would expect from a champion a quick learner with boundless energy and a sensitive soul under the proud exterior meet the english thoroughbred the sight of an English thoroughbred evokes the ima imagery of the British countryside, rolling hills and wind, woodland paths, grand estates, and manor houses. Across the Atlantic Ocean in the English thoroughbred's cousin, the American thoroughbred, found most notably in Kentucky and Tennessee. The English thoroughbred owes its existence to three exotic sires imported into England between the 17th and 18th centuries. When bred with native mares, they established a gene pool that defined the breed characteristics, giving the swift and elegant thoroughbred its claim to fame. Today, thoroughbreds are cited for being exceptional competition horses, participating in dressage, show jumping, and polo. Whatever the occasion, it's certain that the English thoroughbred will put on a show with its head held high. Thoroughbreds face some challenges, however, as the demanding race in industry com prizes the horse's safety for higher stakes, leaving them victim to injuries and health problems. Despite this, competitions on Eurovic are held to a higher standard, putting the well-being of the horse first. I do like that they added this because it is a problem in actual horse racing that a horse are getting injured and it's not cool. It's basically horse abuse. With a cumber patchy and chiseled nose, large lively eyes and a high set tail the english thoroughbred is a beauty to behold its long legs and muscular shoulders are a telltale sign of the horse's racing speed and dexterity with racing the hot-blooded horse will always stay calm in the face of adversity keeping a stiff upper lip in the true british spirit they are the ideal companion for a no-nonsense rider looking to bring a sense of tradition to their riding routine so i actually really liked this little tidbit um but yeah that's pretty much it for this week except for one quick thing which is just coming next week um let me know in the comments when she think but they said coming next week hmm what's going on in Veildale? seems like far is trying to turn some fun ideas into reality do you think that's going to be closed do you think it's going to be some sort of quest an activity a race let me know in the comments but I also wanted to say sorry for this video being so late I was at camp all day and then um, I was playing with a friend so I'm sorry about that but I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in another video bye <laughs>